What's going on guys? This is your boy Project X Man. I'm bringing another episode of Pokemon Desolation. In the last episode, we did a lot of side quests with Garrett. Managed to get a lot of credits. Managed to find the guy who sells stones. So he's now working for our store. That's great. Um, we're going to be doing more missions in this episode as well. Um, so storyline will have to wait, which I'm perfectly fine with. I want this to stretch this out as long as possible because this might be the last gym um, that I have to do for the day, for the episode. Shen, are you ready to get this show on the road? I doubt it will be easy, so come well prepared. Yep, great. For a moment I thought you'd keep me waiting. Let's not keep them waiting, hmm? Sometime later, deep in the city. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show on the road. Damn! Shen, it's time. Can you smell it? The sweet smell of destruction. Come on, we've got to get inside. Move as quickly as you can, aight? Stay out of this. Box trash. Damn you! Bring it! You wanna fight? You can have one. <laughs> D! <laughs> okay. Come on. It ain't over. You won't make it. Oh. You plan on stopping me with a leave Annie? Come on. This is not the music for this. This is the music for this. Stay out of this. Okay, they're saying the same thing. We've won. Go Shen, I got these. Go Shen, I got these guards. Well, well, well. Shen? You, of all people, had to come. That had to come. This is a strange coincidence, isn't it? Both of us helping our groups we never thought we'd be a part of. What a shit show. If there is such a thing as fate, it's certainly an ass. Otherwise, it wouldn't have pitted us against each other. No matter. I have my goals, and you have yours. I won't ask for your sympathy. I only ask that you forgive me for what I'm about to do. Because after all of this, I, I even know I'll be. A I don't even know if I'll be able to forgive myself. On guard, Shen. Ooh, Weeba. Low kick. Ah, I thought you had a life orb. Tyranitar. Let's 
go to Medina Blood. I ain't switching, friend. Goodbye. Salamence. Oh, right, Intimidate Drop, huh? It's a special element. But, Dragon Pulse. Life Orb. Oh wow, now that I think about it. Doesn't my special defense get boosted in a, in a sandstorm? Despite that, um, despite that, left. Despite that, he gets his, wow, I, words are just not, <laughs> oh no, he has fire blast. Don't die, don't die, yes. I was gonna say, despite that, he did a lot of damage with Dragon Pulse. Nice. The lid. Oh, Mega Gallade. I'm fighting a lot of people with Megas all of a sudden. I'm glad I did got the Intimidate drop on this guy. As if you live a mi a minus two defense, banded damage, earthquake. Arcanine. I was about to say, watch this be the only outrage Arcanine in it. <laughs> Even now. It seems I have lost my touch. Ever since I joined the, this lot, I've lost my touch. I'm a criminal now. Huh. I never saw myself doing any of this, Sean. The things we do when we're desperate. But it'll be worth it in the end. Surely. Shen, this isn't over. Not yet. My dream is still the same. I'll be the lead champ in no time. I just... 
I have to detour to me. There's no choice. Until next time. It seems that you did it, huh? We all did it. It'd be nice to make this place home base, to be honest. Too bad half the damn city must know about it by now. It's nice to feel like I've made a difference here, mate. A real difference. Who knows? Maybe one day you, me, and the boys will have fed and freed this junkyard of the city. I'm heading on bank, mate. Feel free to meet me whenever you're routine. Interesting. I'm very interested in what to find out what this egg is. You're getting a pretty high in level. took out all the fires. That was unexpected. <laughs> the foxes are always in the back, so we'll have a list of that in here. Something. Oh, wow. Well. All right. I talked to these people before. Give him back some. Also, it's time to give a jar of pink to. Uh, let's give it to Snore. His name is now Snowball. <laughs> oh, everyone's gone. Shen, you're back! Everyone has already gone off to take a break. Me? I'll stay here and plan our next move. You done so excellent? Where's Shen? Alright, we got some slick loot while we were down there. Here's a generous cut. Hey, 15! I'll let you know when I'm ready to continue our work, Shen. Until then, I'm certain you've got some important stuff to do. And if not, well, there's always the fight club. I have a word with to one of the lads there. They'll be sure to let you in. Just head on over there to the cafe, I guess. Sup, Shen? Yeah, okay. So I got Garrett's respect. Cool. Oh, right. I got 15 credits. I think I had like eight before. I mean one before. So I think I can use get two eight credit vendors. Alright. What you got? Poison, ground, flying, or dragon, ghost, dark, steel, normal. Oh, I see why this is more expensive. You tricky little. 
because it would be it would be absolutely useful for who I'm going to be facing in this fight. I'll I'll get these berries at a later time. All right. Seven. I can't get that person yet. I don't think I could get this person yet. What about this person? Yep, I can get this person. What you got? Sticky bar, like a tail, iron ball, binding man, float stone, eject button, red card, ring target, metronome. I guess I'd buy a couple metronomes. Now I'm gonna see what this man buy sells. Heat rock, icy rock, smooth rock, damp rock, grip, paw, light clay, ever stone. So it's those kind of rocks. I forgot she said the rocks that boost, uh, that um, makes, uh, what you call it, last longer. Okay, so now I can enter the fight club when I wish. I won't be doing that this episode. It's time to go to that library, finally. Jen, good to see you. It's about time you arrived too. People were starting to give me stares, mate. I'm not exactly the library looking type, as you can see. So, down to business. We need to get into the archives, right? Well then, let's analyze the situation. So the entrance is only guarded by one guy. Probably your, probably your basic librarian too. It'll be simple stuff to get past him. We just need a distraction. But not just any distraction. One that will seem genuine. Because if one of my guys comes in making some noise, it'll only raise suspicion. That guy over there, with the blue beard, beard and hair? I've met him before, unfortunately. You may also have heard, had the pleasure. He's an extremely strange and annoying look. In other words, the perfect distraction. Maybe he'll help us, huh? So the plan is pretty simple at the moment. You go and convince Blue Dude to do something? Well, distract him. I'll go pick up a book and try to look, be less suspicious. Once we get inside, we ought to be quick, alright? We can't be seen messing with the stuff. Period. Alright? Hmm? Something you want? As you can see, I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the presence of this table. You're ruining this experience for me, friend. And I don't appreciate that. Not one bit. Mm hmm? You want me to distract the librarian, dude? You little munchkins asking favors for nothing. Hmm. But Jared would never turn down the chance to have some fun. Indeed, Jared thrives on it. Hmm. Jared will do as you say. Jared needs nothing in return. Jared will wait for your signal. Ha ha ha! He's speaking to. He's speaking of himself in the third person. Oh, oh yeah, I love reading. You know, pages and shit. And, and ink. Lots of ink. Could you hurry up, Shen? I can't be this perfectly disguised forever. <laughs> the store we leads to the cellular archives. Unfortunately, only authorized individuals are allowed entry. That doesn't include you.
Jared will wait for your signal. Jared is with him. Oh, okay. Jared, not that <laughs> disappoint. Hello, sir. Jared does not mean to bother you, but Jared has a problem. What? No, you don't. No, you don't, you idiot. What are you doing? Jared is dealing with problem, fool. Jared needs librarians to help him. Um, sir, are you feeling okay? Indeed, Jared does not know. Jared has sore tummy, and sore head, and sore toes. Sore toes? Jared gets more sore toes from wearing no shoes. What the? What is going on here? Jared will ask Librarian Man a favor. Would Librarian Man, would Librarian be so kind as to lend Jared shoes? I'm not one of the librarians. I guard the archives, you fool. The most prestigious store of knowledge in all of Aerith. Jared is the most prestigious owner of sore toes. Help Jared. Ah, fine. It's not like someone will come anyway. God, we need better security for people like you. Thank you, Librarian Man. My toes are so grateful. I'm not a librarian. I'm a... Oh, I'm wasting my time. Let's get this over with. So this is what's back here. Well, Shen, it looks like we're in. I say it. I'll say it. I can't believe that crap worked. In fact, heh, never mind. We can't waste time. You've got a job to do, right? Let's get down to the archives. I don't know how much time we've got. Holy hell. Who knew this place was down here? Right beneath our noses. It's definitely not what I imagined. I thought it would be more, well, librarian-ish. Is that even a word? Eh, who cares? We got a job to do. Information on Shiva Nerora, huh? Right. Let's put up and look around then, huh? This looks like a big place. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Find anything that looks suspicious. Good luck, mate. strange book that emanates a dark presence. You open the book and find an old ripped out page stuffed within. The page is titled Diary of a Monster. Entry 1. Read the entry? Okay. As you begin reading the words of the diary, a strange feeling overcomes you. I should probably start by introducing myself, if anyone else is to ever read this. It's kind of hard to tell you my name, because even I don't know it. My parents weren't even ever around to tell me. So I started calling myself Aurora. I at least like the name. I wonder if my parents were around somewhere. What would they have named me? But what does it matter now? They ran off. They left my brother and I in the middle of a frozen wasteland. They simply vanished. Left us their old home and little more. We would have, we would have to look after ourselves. And so began the story of my brother and I. The strange feeling wears off. Interesting. Another book? Oh man, I read it in the wrong order, didn't I? I never stopped researching. I wanted to be normal, desperately so. I didn't want to live like this, knowing I was, well, you know. I wasn't about to give up that so easily, right? So I spent my entire childhood on this grand research. I learned all I could about myself and Shiv. I thought I had all the answers. I approached a nearby science conference. I thought that maybe they might be able to help us out. I presented my findings to everyone. I explained our situation as best I could. I didn't think they'd all treat it as a joke. It was my own fault, really. To someone, oh, we had, it could seem completely bizarre. But even so, all that work, all that time I spent neglecting Shiv. And for what? To be mocked? Laughed at by these snobby losers? I wouldn't allow it. I wouldn't allow them to just condemn Shiv like that. I lost myself that day. I did what I swore I'd never do. I killed someone with those 
with those same disgusting powers that I was trying to get rid of. And hell, looking back on it now, I damn well enjoyed it. I guess that's what shaped me into what, who I am now today. What Shiv and I both are. Complete, absolute monsters. What is going on? Number two. This is what I was supposed to read before. We're not kids, normal kids, Shiv and I. We've never been normal. You were born like this, born with this strange abilities. Until I met that girl, I thought we were completely normal. You know, you never asked for this. We never wanted it. Shiva's always loved battling, even before he knew he wasn't normal. He said he was good at it, too. In fact, he always said he wanted to take on the League one day. I actually had, think he had come to love his powers. He embraced them, used them to help him at, out at every turn, twist and turn. His powers became a part of who he was, I guess. Me? I wasn't so lucky. As soon as I realized I was different, I desperately wanted to be normal again. I couldn't stand the feeling I had, that I didn't belong, you know? So yeah, I spent a long, long time researching. Well, us. And here I am now. But even after all this time, I still haven't even answered the most fundamental question. What the hell are we? I'm starting to think I have powers myself. entrance. The door is locked. Perhaps it requires a key? There is so much information hidden away here. I wonder what that bitch was at it is out hide here hiding, huh? Entry 4. I knew what I was. After they turned down all my work, I knew what had happened to me. What a shitty world we live in, huh? Yet, I would continue my research. I wasn't going to stop just because some stop-nosed nerds told me to. No, I would continue, alone. That being said, my motivation for continuing had surely changed. I didn't want to be normal, not after that feeling I had when I, well, disposed of those people. That feeling of being powerful, being in control of the situation. I don't want anyone to take that away from me. Not after experiencing it so vividly. It was at that, that moment that I realized my new cause. I wouldn't continue to res this research to continue. Blah! I wouldn't continue this research to cure myself. No. I would continue my research to find out my weaknesses. To find out whatever hurts Shiv and I. And to eliminate it. Shiv, unfortunately, had also changed. While I spent my time researching our abilities, he spent his time using them. He defeated countless trainers, the best of the best. Travelers, gym leaders, he was slowly becoming the best. But what are you meant to do once you become the best? I should have kept a closer eye on him. It was obvious how he felt. Empty, bored perhaps, even depressed, if I had known better. He had never been offered a challenge, ever. He'd been too good for his own good. I did what any big sister would, tried to help him. I started training Pokemon myself, training whatever I could find. I used my abilities to accelerate the process, to become as strong as possible as quickly as possible. I had to save him. I thought I could. I battled him eventually. I won. Easily. I didn't expect that it would only add to his grief. I thought it would motivate him. Yet there I was, losing my brother before my eyes. That is, until that strange girl arrived. Interesting. I guess that 
I guess we would get to that place later. Look at this place. It seems like they have everything down here. Perhaps even on Lilith, the foxes. Oh, mate, it's you. So, any luck? I had shit all, I'm afraid. I'm not exactly an avid reaper. I always knew Aurora's ship were strange, but... Abilities? How is that even real? I'm used to dealing with thugs and snobs, not this. Insane shit. I know it's real, mate. I've seen it with my own eyes, but... Oh, damn it. We're wasting time here. Come on, let's get keep moving. Ooh, what's this? A dragon skin. I haven't found anything useful for you, I mean, mate. But the secret section looks pretty promising. <laughs> There's no one top of the button. Now you have a monster. That's your six. Nova. I was so absolutely foolish to trust her. She was a normal person, completely human in every regard. And that's why she was so dangerous to us. I was so stupid. Shiv and I are monsters, nothing more. And Nova, she knew it. She gasped by concept, especially well in her betrayal. Nova, of course, was at our house again. I suppose Shiv was happy enough with her around, so I let her stay the night, out of no more than goodwill. It was a strange night for me. I felt like I was in a deeper and stranger sleep than usual. There was no shortage of nightmares in that night either. There was one particular nightmare that I very much wanted to get out of. So I pushed, shoved, and awoke with a start. Only to see Nova's cold red eyes staring down at me. Her hand was on my shoulder and I felt so... drained. Something felt wrong. Something was leaving me through that shoulder, straight into her hand. She saw that I had awoken and ran off as quickly as she could. I tried to move as hard as I could, but... I felt so empty. Despite that, I found my strength that got up. I chased her without holding back. I followed her down the stairs as quickly as I could. But then I heard a sound. There was no mistaking it. It was Shiv yelling. I knew I needed to hurry. What was Nova doing? Why was she doing this? My thoughts were buzzing all over the place as I ran down the stairs. I tried to use my power to reach her. I swear, I did everything. But nothing worked. Nothing! I knew I was too late. And that's when I saw it. I couldn't mistake it. The knife. The blood. My little brother. Shiv. Why? He cared so much about her and... That was how she repaid him. When I saw Shiv lying there, I didn't once think to check if he was okay. I was so completely blinded by rage. I had the same familiar feeling again. I wouldn't let her run away. I wouldn't let her run away. Not after that. Not after what she did. I would hurt her. Do to her what she did to Shiv, but a thousand times worse. But even then... By the time I got outside, she was gone. She had just disappeared. Just like my parents. And at that moment, it became oblivious why I couldn't use my powers. It's the same reason Nova could teleport away. She had stolen them somehow. Stolen my powers. Stolen a part of me. A part of who I am. She used Shiv. Hurt him. Manipulated him the same way he manipulates others. To steal my powers. This girl Nova stole a part of me. At that point, I knew my research could wait. Nova, on the other hand, could not. Huh? What the hell? This can't be right. No way. This is crazy. Insane. I don't believe in this fairy tale bullshit. This is stupid. If that's true. Shen, listen closely to the shit. This here, it talks about Nova and Shiv. Shiv and Nova, the famous children, are often discussed as cursed beings. However, they are not so different from you and I. In fact, they are completely and utterly normal. Yet, what of those so-called powers? Let it be known, reader, anything is possible when- What the fuck was that? That's coming from the surface. Shit! I'm not taking any risks down here, mate. Let's get the hell out, alright? Come on! 
What the hell is happening up there? Shen, we gotta stick together, all right? We'll talk about what I read when we get out of here. Come on, let's get moving. What's that? We all need to leave, even you. Don't worry, I wouldn't leave you behind, G. Things are bad. Far too much trip for me to handle. Rosetta? How did you know we... Questions can wait. It's Aurora and Nova. They're fighting. We can't stay anywhere near them when this happens. We need to go, and now. Gardevoir, again! You knew I wouldn't leave you behind. What the? Rosetta! Shen! They didn't... Gardevoir teleported us off. Something must be blocking Shen from... Damn it! Shen, hold on! Looks like I'm by myself. Meanwhile, Nova, little Nova, how I've missed you. Back together, just like old times. Huh. A mighty Anna, huh? This time, things will be different. You think I'm scared of you, Aurora? I'm done running from you. I'm done being afraid of you. You're an obsessive bitch, nothing else. I'm not scared of you. Scared of me? Up, oh, up. Oh. You stupid little girl. I don't want you to be scared of me, Nova. I want you to think you can stand up and fight. I want you to try your luck again, just so I can see your face when I have you on your knees again. You're a psycho, Aurora. What the hell do you want from me? For some damn reason, you won't just stay out of my life. Stay out of your life. Why didn't you follow your own advice all those years ago? You used him, Nova. You hurt him, broken him. You stole a part of him, you disgusting cow. You think I'd just forget that? How else was I meant out to survive out there? We all have to do shitty things, Aurora. We all made mistakes. You, me, and Shiv. Please, just damn forgive me. Forgive you? After all that? Shut the hell up, Nova. I'm done playing your shitty little manipulation games. Give them back. Give me back the rest of my damn powers, now. I won't run from you anywhere, Aurora. You stole a part of me, Nova. Give it back now. I'm warning you, damn it. A part of you, huh? No, it's not yours. Not anymore. You're fucking fine then. If you want to play things that way, I'll finish what you started on that night. You remember that little stone, Nova? The onyx stone that you so desperately wanted to work? It won't work. Not in your hands, bitch. It was meant to be used by our family, not a pathetic thief like you. So then, you want to see what this stone brings about? Let me show you, Nova, just to let you know that you'll never be able to have it in your prophetic life. Aurora, no! I warned you, Nova. I warned you over and over. You want to see Dark Rise so much? Have your damn wish, then. You're fucking done. I'll be done with... I'll be doing this world a favor. I hope you are out in hell. No! I'm sorry! Please, Aurora! Sis, stop! That's enough! Shiv? Shiv, it's you. You came here? To this city? Where your powers are meant to be gone? Sis, I never planned to come here. Not until I knew Nova was in the city. Not until all of this. Shiv, I missed you so damn much. You have no idea, little bro. But it's time to put an end to all this, Shiv. An end to all of this. We can be normal again. Starting by getting rid of her. No, sis. You're not going to hurt her. What? You side with her over me? I don't agree with her way, sis, but you know that even then I care about her. No, you don't. She had manipulated you. She only made you think that. It's not real, Shiv. You think I care? It's real to me, and when it comes down to it, that's what matters. I hate her for what she's done, for what she plans to do. But she's the only normal person on this God's forsaken world that I actually give a crap about. Please, sis, let it go. I wish things were that easy. But you know the world isn't that kind. Not to whatever the hell we are. What she's done, I won't let her do it to us again. In my eyes, family comes first, Shiv. I won't leave her for t I won't leave you to her. Whatever you like it or not. Sis, no. Please, calm down. Don't do this. If I have to take you both at the same time, so be it. This is for the good of the family. Damn it, sis. Fine, then. Have it your way. Shen! Is that you? Damn it, Shen, please! I can't fight my own sister alone! She's far too strong! Please, 
You won't hear me say this again, but I need your help. Before she kills Nova. Shen. Hmm. So that's your name. So this is why your scent was familiar. You knew my brother all along. You're quite the enigma, Shen. Shen. I don't know you well, but I know this. You just came out of the archives. I know you were there. You've seen my journal, haven't you? Which means you know the truth. You know that what Nova has done. She deserves what she's going to get from me. I don't know if I have it in me to fight Shiv. Not again. Shen, please, avert his gay eyes. Shen, no, please. Trust me, please. Aurora can be stopped. This can end happily, I swear it. Please, forgive Nova. Both siblings require your help. What will you do? Condemn Nova or forgive her? I gotta end the episode right here. I gotta end the episode right here, man. Um, but don't worry. We will continue the next episode. In fact, I may make this a double episode. Stay tuned for that. I need to remember to make this a double episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.